Well, guess I don't need these anymore. Guys, and it was back again for another video with some Kingdom Hearts news that we're gonna be talking about right here, right now. So let's get right to it. Square Enix, what are you doing? As of right now, we have announced officially for the PlayStation 4, and as of right now, only in the United States, Kingdom Hearts the story so far it is basically everything it's kingdom hearts 1.5 kingdom hearts 2.5 kingdom hearts 2.8 all inside one beautiful package for 40 dollars we've got the cover right over here now as you can clearly see it's all the art cover books combined into one single piece it actually looks kind of nice like i, I kind of like it feels like they could have expanded the thing a little bit more but nonetheless like yeah okay there's so much to talk about right now first off let's talk let's talk about the title kingdom hearts the story so far. No 2.9, no 2.856, none of that nonsense, just the story so far. Now personally, I think that title works out really well because it makes explaining it so much simpler. Before we're like, okay man, you gotta buy 1.5 and 2.5, and don't forget, you gotta get 2.8. 2.8 has this game, and no, but you need 1.5 in order to get this one, but 2.5 can take this game. Yeah, it's, it's just madness. Now all you gotta say is, bro, all you need is Kingdom Hearts, the story so far, and that's it. Figure out the rest of yourself. Yo, that's crazy. So I definitely like the title. Now, of course, yes, another like reamp package or whatever of the games that we've already played multiple times. Square Enix, are you milking this right now? I mean, that's one way to look at it, but no, clearly Square Enix being the geniuses that they are, like revealing the Kingdom Hearts PS4 Pro and still not announcing it except only in Japan. Ah! But nonetheless, yes, being the geniuses that they are, you know, it is getting a lot of hype. It is bringing in a bunch of new people. So making this set is clearly, clearly it's for this. Clearly it is for new people that are trying to get into the series. Like me, you, whoever, like I already have 1.5 and 2.5 and 2.8. So in reality, I don't need this. I don't need this. There's no incentive of getting this. The only reason why you would get this is for the case. And am I gonna be dumb enough to actually buy it again? Yes, yes I am. Because Square Enix knows I'm thirsty for anything Kingdom Hearts. Why not? I've already already bought the game like what six times already what's one more time i already played all the stories for how many years now what's one more time <laughs> square enix what are you doing nonetheless though yeah i think it's uh pretty cool so okay here's the other topic xbox xbox where you at man they are not around the corner they're around the freaking continent right over here yeah like what's going on still no xbox listen it's not coming it's not gonna happen i'm sorry but there have been so many opportunities for square enix to go ahead and put like these remixes and everything um for xbox and they just haven't done it although i do believe in an interview namora said like yeah uh microsoft they haven't really approached us about getting any of this so it's really i think it's more on microsoft's thing like uh, so far microsoft is getting the um xbox one wired kingdom hearts 3 theme controller like it's wired what the heck is that nonsense but i mean yeah xbox i don't i, I don't i don't know what to say you're all you're getting is kingdom hearts 3 and you're getting a wired controller and so it seems as though microsoft doesn't really care so i don't really know what to say aside from the fact that the, aside from the thing that i always usually say is that xbox is hot garbage in japan and n nobody has an xbox in japan I if you live in japan and your parents buy you an xbox they probably hate you for some reason yeah it just doesn't xbox is Xbox is garbage in Japan, but hey, Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming to Xbox One. Well, I'm assuming they just want to get as much money as possible. But nonetheless, one thing that I gotta say, like, the beautiful thing that I like about this is like, okay, ready? They're all in one package. They're all in one package. It's all there. Bring it to the Nintendo Switch, please. Please just port it to the Switch. Oh, but Ed Louise, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.8, the uh, graphical discovery diameter is too powerful for the Switch. I don't care. I don't care if the frame rate drops. I don't care if it's a little bit fuzzy. Just put it on the Switch. I'm more about the gameplay than the graphics. Uh, well, for the Switch, nonetheless. But regardless, yes. Kingdom Hearts, the story so far, Square Enix, you creative geniuses making this beautiful bundle for all the newcomers and, and making it so that the people that already have it, diehard Kingdom Hearts fans, have another reason to buy this 
set. Again, we don't need it, but you know damn well a lot of us are gonna get it just for the flipping um, cover. And it's only 40 bucks! 40 bucks, there's literally no excuse at this point. Square Enix had been like, you know, I gotta give them credit. I got to give them credit. They're going above and beyond to make it to make it as easy as possible to get all the games. Like, see, they know you're confused with, with the story. That's why they just said, hey, the story so far. They didn't add any of that 1.5, 2.5 nonsense. So yeah, I got I gotta give kudos to Square Enix for, for like, you know doing this again and it's coming out october 30th which is yeah like it's at the end of the month so you still got time so if you know somebody that has a playstation 4 and they're going to jump into kingdom hearts 3 without playing the games first off smack the hell out of them and second off then tell them to get this this is all they need just get this and you're done kingdom hearts 3 is very story driven i know there's like the whole discussion like uh i don't need to play the other games to to enjoy kingdom hearts 3 you don't need to know the story you're just gonna have no idea what in the f hell is going on in this story that's all it is you're not gonna know what's going on you're gonna be ridiculously confused the pieces and everything like when we get that aqua and then reunion you know us diehard fans are gonna cry tears of joy normal people that only play like one and two they'll have they'll have no incentive they'll be like ah okay cool guess they haven't seen each other in a while like i don't know maybe like a month or something yeah like a month okay nonetheless guys that is basically it Kingdom Hearts, the story so far, exclusively for the PS4, as of right now, only available in the United States, as of right now. Um, so what I want to know is, like, you know, first off, what do you think of the title? What do you think of the cover? Do you think it's going to come to Xbox One? Forget that. Just put it on the Nintendo Switch. That's all I really need. And what do you think? Do you think Square Enix is uh, milking the series a little bit so far? Or do you think, like, you know, they're just being smart about it, making it easy uh, to get newcomers into the series as easy as possible? And it's only 40 bucks. Like, come on. You know damn well you spend 40 bucks on things you don't need. This is it. This is it. I don't need this, but I'm going to get it anyway. So, guys, leave all your comments in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big, big, big thumbs up as it really helps me out. And until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say bye, pal. See you soon.